بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا فورتھ لرننگ پیتھ ڈپلائے اینڈ مینٹین ایسٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹاپک کریٹ ڈیش بورڈس وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن کریٹ اینڈ مینیج ورک اسپیسز اینڈ ایسٹس فار دس پرٹیکولر ٹاپک آئی ہیو کم ٹو این ادر ورک اسپیس دیٹ از آلریڈی دیئر ان مائی پاور بی ایس سروس and i have come here because i have more than one reports available in this workspace so i want to actually cover the the concept of dashboard and for that i require more than one report in the workspace so that i can show you how the the the, the dashboards actually work so if i come here in the new option here there you are going to see that there is an option which says dashboard and it says build a single page data story so dashboard is a single page artifact or a single page asset in power bi service that is created on top of the report so i'm going to click here and select the dashboard and i'm going to give it a name test 123 and then i'm going to click here on create so this is going to create a new asset in the power bi workspace which is called as a dashboard so here you are going to see what is there on the screen and there is nothing right now so here if we come we have plenty of options that are similar to what the options we have already seen in the report and they have the same functionality that we saw for all of these in the report but here if i come on edit here i have these options where the first option says add a tile the second is a dashboard theme and the third one is the mobile layout so the mobile layout is exactly the same as we saw for the report the dashboard theme let's just explore the dashboard theme so here you can actually upload a json theme similar to how we have for the we, we saw for the power bi desktop that you can actually have a dashboard theme similar to how you have a report theme so if you have some kind of a, a json theme file then you can use that but i am not going to do that here i am just going to uh, use the use the the default one and i am going to come here and click on add a tile so here you have some options which are divided into section so here i have the option which says media and within that i have web content image text box and video so here you can actually through the web content you can actually pull in some kind of a web site into the into the into the tile on the dashboard similarly for a video you can also pull in a video for the image you can pull in an image and for the text box you can pull in a text box you can write something like that and then we also have the option for real time streaming so there is this tile that allows the real time streaming so these are some of the options which you cannot have in the report so you certainly cannot have the real time data you cannot have this video tile or you cannot have the web content so all of these options are available in the dashboard so now we have seen that the basic building block of a dashboard is a tile and we can either create the tile through the method that i just showed you or we can go back to the reports inside our workspace and then use some of the visuals in the report to pin to the dashboard so let me just go back to my workspace again and here now you can see that a new asset has been created which is the test 123 this is the icon and here you can say say that this is the dashboard so this is how a dashboard has been created now i am going to go into my maven market example report and i am going to see that how i can actually pull a visual out of this report and put it in the dashboard so let's say my focus is to put this shape map on the dashboard so i am going to just select this shape map and here on top of the on top of the visual which where the header icons are i am going to find this this particular icon which is the uh, the pin visual icon so i'm just going to click here on the pin visual icon and here it says that you can pin this visual on the dashboard so i am going to select the existing dashboard which is my test 1 2 3 and here i can select the theme so do i want to keep the current theme or do i want to keep the destination theme so let's say i want to just keep the current theme and i am going to click here on pin and now it says that you have pinned the this visual has been pinned to the dashboard so i am going to click here on go to dashboard and this is going to take me to my dashboard which is dash test 1 2 3 and you can see that my 
visual has been pinned here on the dashboard and this is my tile so this white area this white area is my tile so if i just come here i can actually increase or decrease the size of this tile but the important thing to note here is that i cannot actually do anything on the tile and as soon as if i as i click on the tile it again takes me back to my report so that tells me that the dashboard is there just for watching what is happening you can just hover your mouse and maybe use the mouse to see uh, what is there on the standard tooltip but you actually cannot do anything on the tile and as soon as you click it it is going to take you back to your power bi report so now let me just go back and now i will go and open the other report which is the sales analysis rls so this is another report that has uh, that is there and now i am going to click here on this particular card visual and i am going to pin this to my dashboard so now i am going to pin it exactly the way that i pinned it and i am going to go and click on my dashboard and here you can see that now instead of one i have two images so what has actually happened here this is coming from one report this particular visual and this particular visual is coming from another report and both of these are in the in a tile and as soon as i click on this tile i am going to be taken back to the other report so this is the overall objective of creating a dashboard so let's say you have a few reports in your workspace and you just want to have a quick look or a a top level view of the all the major kpis or all the major visuals of all the reports in a dashboard then you can open all those all those individual visuals in the form of a dashboard there is another option that is called as the pin live option so in this report let me just click here on the edit and here if you go inside this particular area this area you are going to see that there is another option which is similar to the option that we saw for the visual and this is for the entire report page so let me just click here on this and here you are going to see that there is this particular thing that says pin live page enables changes to reports to appear in the dashboard tile when the page is refreshed so what we are trying to do right now we are trying to actually pin the entire page to the dashboard and this actually allows that if anything appears any change appears here then that it would be uh, automatically or automatically refreshed and reflected on the on the dashboard as well so let me just click here on pin live and then i am go to the dashboard so now on the dashboard you see that the entire page is now part of this so let me just click here on the page here and now you can see that filtering that was available on the report page is now also available in the is also now available in the in this particular tile so if i click here on something then you see you can see that i go back to the to the original report page but if i have a complete page that is that has been pinned on the on the dashboard then the phenomena that we saw for the tiles that phenomena is no longer available and now this does not take you back to the report and even the filtering or some of the other things that you have enabled for this report page you can see that all of that is being carried out here so this was all about the dashboards so how you can actually create a dashboard how you can pin different visuals and how you can pin a live a uh, report page to a dashboard we are going to explore dashboard in the next video as well where the focus will be a bit different but this is how the dashboard actually works and this is a concept or this is something that where that is very very useful so that's all for this video particular video and i'll catch you in the next one